welcome to Harvest and Gather. So for today's video, I will be showing you another um, grocery haul. Um, this is another um, mini stock up for our new tiny house. So I can't wait to show you what we got for today. And we spent about $250.80 and we shopped at Whole Foods. I apologize for the audio in this video. Currently our microwave, the vent, um, it's broken so it just keeps on going it's been like that for several days already so if any of you know um, how to fix it um, we want to try to fix it before we want to replace it um, in the long run we're planning to re have the it's right behind the camera um, we want it removed and replaced with shelves but for now we're trying to make do with what we have. So if any of you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much. So I wanna start on this side right here. I ran out of my um, eco sponges. So when I went there, I made sure to grab some. And this is my first time trying this one. Um, it's from the brand, I don't know if this is a brand, but it's called um, Kind. Casabella kind and it has um, three spun uh, not three six sponges inside I'm so sorry the baby's screaming and then my husband he's kind of having a scratchy throat right now of course he got it from um, our daughter she's always been sick since she started school so um, we always keep um, orange juice and lemonade it would have been best if we had um, the the actual lemons and oranges, but right now with the baby, we just don't have the time to make fresh juices. So we settled with the store-bought ones. And I have been looking for the chocolate hazelnut granola that I usually get from Whole Foods before, but surprisingly, they don't have it anymore. So I had to... Um, try other brands this one is from Alter Eco dark chocolate organic granola the ingredients look pretty clean and I also want that one the one that I like was from the 300 um, 365 Whole Foods Market brand so what they have in the store today is the double chocolate and red berries granola and this also look pretty good and it has raspberries and strawberries and oats and dark chocolate chips so i wanted to try that one as well and compare these two brands and see which one's uh the best when we make our spaghetti we always use the rayos um i don't know how to pronounce it but um the rayos brand and we get the roasted garlic but they only had the smaller version not really the smaller version but like a, a, a little bit smaller than the bigger bottle that we usually get sorry i had to change the settings because it's not focusing so we got the we got two of the roasted garlic because the size is not really that big we usually get this size but this size they only had the tomato basil um in the store uh today and um, we had to go in the store today because I usually order from Whole Foods through Amazon. And for some reason, it's not when I add to cart all the meat, it's all, it says unavailable. And so I had to go into the store because I was like, we have to check the meat first. If it's not available, then we'll just go to Trader Joe's. Um, both stores are really close to our new tiny house now so i can go either um either or um the only advantage with whole foods is that they have delivery whereas trader joe's um they don't have that option you really have to go in the store and for me like in my current season right now with a baby i find it really helpful if the grocery store that i go to has a delivery option because it's just <laughs> it's just my situation you know um, I'm pretty sure as the baby gets older then I'm able to go to these places um, without any difficulties so um, enough of that um, we got yellow baby potatoes uh, I'm planning to make 
Um, I'm planning to use this one for chicken curry, and my, which is my husband's favorite. We always have chicken curry every week. And um, the Zupa Toscana soup, I wanted to try that one and put potatoes in it. And last time I got this brand, the Enjoy Life uh, chocolate chips, and it's free from 14 allergens. And they list here in the back the allergens that it's free from. So I found this in the store. They only had two packs. Um, the last time I got were chocolate chips, rice flavored, something rice milk. But this one is the Mega Chunks. So I wanted to try this one too. And since I will be baking muffins, so I just got the baking cups and the jumbo baking cups. And I got strawberries for my daughter. It's her favorite. This is for her lunchbox. And I also got um, organic bone broth, chicken um, from Pacific Foods. They have a new packaging now. It used to be a like a, I think a white or light green box, but now it's a dark green. And then we have bananas for our smoothies. And I saw this. I'm really addicted to chocolate. And I don't know how to pronounce this one. Human or or you from human. Um, it's dark chocolate gems. Look at that. It looks really good. And it says no soy or gluten, no palm oil, no lecithins, no emulsifiers. It looks pretty clean. Um, the ingredients here so I wanted to try that one and I still haven't unpacked the boxes so I just went ahead and grabbed um, a, a small Pyrex cup for baking and I also got organic pumpkin puree I'm planning to mix this one with the chili. I wanted to try mixing um, squash or pumpkin in soups and see if it elevates the taste or makes the taste even better. And then I got the Dave's Killer Bread uh, Bagels, the Cinnamon Raisin Remix. I am not sure if I've tried this one before, but it smells good. And I think it, this tastes good because this is the only one left in the store. And I got frozen chopped kale. This is for the Zupa Toscana soup. I also got um, carrots. Um, some of these will go to my daughter's lunchbox and for the curry as well. And this is the milk that my daughter drinks. And this is the only milk that she wants. Um, it's strawberry flavored from Horizon Organic. And this is always out of stock. So we always uh, have a hard time finding this. We always hunt this. So this is a six pack. Whole Foods has only all these three six pack. So I got all of it um, for my daughter. At least she has a few weeks, maybe three weeks worth. And I got two packs of bacon right here and cured smokehouse bacon. And it's reduced sodium because um, my husband is on a low sodium diet. And I also got Whole Foods Market organic apple sweet and savory chicken sausage. And then since it's getting cold now every morning, I was thinking of... Um, taking hot chocolate with me to work so I was um, looking at this one and it was like this is very convenient um, every morning to just put my hot chocolate in here this is made of bamboo so bamboo coffee cups and plant fiber lids so how many there's 12 12 in this bag and then we got chicken thighs for the curry. Um, this one is um, $14.02. It's $8.99 per pound. And we always, always get air chilled because for us, it really matters. It's really expensive. But if you're wondering, baby's crying, it's with my husband. Um, it's air chilled. The taste is better than the one that is not air chilled there's a distinct weird taste for those um chicken meat that are not air chilled i don't know my husband and i noticed it so for us it is really worth 
to buy this one even though it is expensive regardless of the brand as long as it is air chilled um, but we love getting the mary's um chicken organic chicken and this one is $13.13 and it's still $8.99 per pound. And we got two packs of um, organic eel river grass fed grass finished beef. It's 93% lean, 7% fat. I was thinking of using this for the pasta for spaghetti or lasagna. And then the other one is for the chili. And then we saw this diaper from Whole Foods, from the 365 um, Whole Foods Market brand. We just wanted to try it because our um, baby had been always using Pampers. And we've tried almost all brands already and he's allergic to all of them except for the Pampers. So now that we saw this one, we wanted to try and see if he's not allergic to it. So that is all we got for today's mini stock up haul from Whole Foods. This is worth $250.80. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you in my next one. Bye!